I decided to do my skincare routine um, or like my skincare products that I um, am using and also um, following on from that I will do a second video sorry I have an eyelash just falling off <laughs> um, and following from that I will be doing a simple mommy friendly quick makeup look that I will time um, to see how quick I can do it because um, yeah anyway but that will be the second part of this video or well it'll be another video but it's kind of um, the second part of this video followed from skincare anyway I had to tell you a little bit of um, background to my skin and how it has been so as you can see let me just turn the light on I don't think sun shines enough is that better hopefully by the way hopefully you guys like my new office setup um I feel a lot more productive here and yeah, I can film a lot of videos, except cooking videos, which I still have to do in the kitchen, but yeah. Anyway, my skin, I, from the age, um, I want to say 11, um, up until age, my gosh, 24, I had acne. Like, when I was a teenager, it was really, really, really severe. Like I had so much cystic acne and I've done several other videos regarding my skin back in the day. I will link everything to check the iCard. I'll link all of that. You can have a look how my skin has evolved over the years. Back in those days, I had cystic acne, um, a very active acne all over the face. And also I had very oily skin. So, sorry, I'm checking the uh, computer screen here because I can see my, myself if I'm not um, focused. I think I am. And someone's calling me. Okay, so back in the day, my skin was um, full of cystic acne, very active acne all over the place, and very oily. So, it was really difficult to manage because because of the oiliness of it. I had been on antibiotics um, for it and I had used so many creams and products and things like that which just made acne worse and this and that. Sh uh, long story short, I tried when I was 24, 25, I tried, I um, came across um, something online that said acupuncture actually works for this. So at that point when I realized that acupuncture would work for it, I had already ditched all my medication and other like um, crappy products that I was using and had gone natural. Um, so this was five years ago and up until that point I think I was using all natural products for a couple of years. So um, Around that time, I went to acupuncture and my acupuncture doctor was really nice and she actually had experience with um, acne people and oh my gosh, I went for treatments for like, I want to say six months to a year and it worked miraculously. It was so good. My acne went away. I still get the odd pimple here and there, but nothing like what I used to have and my, um, it, it the longest, um, the longest thing that took to heal was the acne scars as you know it takes at least 12 months to 18 months for one acne scar to fade away so once you get them they're hanging around for a while <laughs> um so that was my skin back in the day and then um in 2017 end of 2017 i got pregnant and with my son who's a two-year-old now and at that time as soon as i got pregnant one of the first symptoms was extremely dry skin. Literally my skin just did a 180 and became like this dry, flaky. I just could not deal with it because I was not experienced having dry skin at all. So I just didn't know what to do. So that whole pregnancy, um, my skin was a mess. 
and in some of the videos you probably can see I've tried like all these natural products it didn't work and I had to change my skincare completely because nothing was working and I thought my skin would go back to being super oily after I had him but it didn't it kind of stayed this amazing combination skin which was like the right amount of oil moisture and the right amount of dryness so it was beautiful I really 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 love um, loved that skin it was really good and now I'm pregnant, I'm 24 weeks, and again, as soon as I got pregnant, my skin became really dry. But we were also stuck in quarantine in an air-conditioned air hotel room, which kind of made things worse. And for that couple of weeks, it was my skin was really dry, peeling, it was raw, red everywhere, and it was like cracked, and it was super painful. But that was just, I don't know... I don't know if it, it would have been like the early pregnancy and the air con and just being stuck in a room with no fresh air whatsoever like I think everything contributed to that after about a month so probably in the beginning of May I think it kind of calmed down and all the redness went away and it was just yeah manageable this time around I researched a lot like I'm talking ingredients, brands, reviews, and all these things that you can think of. Um, and found out that these products are the ones that actually um, work well with my skin at the moment. Now, after my pregnancy, after this pregnancy, it might change. But I think there's a good balance here that it's, um, it might, I might be able to keep going and use the same products. So... It's very simple I just have I just have four products or five including my lip balm which is like the most basic thing and makeup with makeup I used to wear a lot of makeup but I did stop uh, about uh, seven years ago I stopped wearing makeup every day before that I would wear at least five times a week right um, so about seven years ago I stopped that and um, after I became a mom, I had even less time to do makeup, so it would only be for like special occasions if I'm going out, if I'm filming a video, um, date night, or you know, just if I feel like I want to have that extra glam, um, I would put makeup on. Otherwise, I am completely happy with my skin, I'm really, really, really confident in the current skin that I have and that's the main thing if you're confident enough to rock your natural skin every day and go wherever <laughs> I think that's the main thing that's very important because then if you're confident enough with yourself at the moment when you wear makeup you'll feel special it's not like a cover-up it's just like you know you're just being glam for a little bit and then when you take it off it's not gonna make a difference because you already love your skin so I hardly wear makeup anymore and some days I do feel like putting a little eyeliner on eyeshadow on my favorite thing to do is actually eyeshadows um, yeah but that's uh, the makeup thing and so oh actually apart from these five products I also use a um, face cleansing soap which I've been using for about, I want to say, eight years or seven years. Um, and it's called, I will put a picture up right now. It's called Dudu Osun um, African Black Soap. It's made with all natural ingredients. You can read about it. It is amazing so 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 good for acne prone skin and it's uh, I don't know if it works for dry skin though because it, it is a little drying but I keep using it um, along with these other products it works really well so um, yeah it's fine um, so that's the cleansing soap that I use and this might sound really disgusting to most of you but I only cleanse my face once a week yeah just like I wash my hair once a week you know, your skin, your hair, they don't need a lot of washing. Um, 
don't get me wrong, every morning and night when I shower, I um, wash my face with water, like I really clean it with water, but I just follow it on with my skincare. Sorry if you can hear my husband screaming downstairs, he's on a phone call to Sri Lanka. Anyway, so I only use the cleansing soap bar um, once a week whenever I do my um, hair wash routine because you always want to wash your face right after you finish washing your hair otherwise all the dirt and stuff will end up on your face so make sure once your whole hair routine is done and you have your hair up you cleanse your face and do your skincare so that's very important that is the only time that I would use the cleansing bar which is once a week otherwise I just use straight up water nothing else um, and if I have been wearing makeup um, I use the uh, face halo with water to remove all the makeup and then after that I cleanse use, use the cleansing bar to cleanse my face that's all that I'm um, doing for cleansing my face okay so the products I'll first show you the lip balm that I use this is the famous um, what is this Lucas Popo ointments that is so bright you can't see this is um, very famous in Australia everybody uses this and yeah it's it's not it's not a lip balm it's actually an ointment um, made with a papaya extract and it helps to it says it helps to relieve and cleanse um, it's a topical, it's for, it's for local topical application for boils, burns, chaffing, cuts, cracked skin, gravel rash, splinters, open wounds, insect bites, and nappy rash. This works for literally everything and yes, it does work for everything. Um, there are other brands out there, um, the uh, other popo ointment brands, but this is the OG, so yeah, you gotta use this. It's amazing. Um, so I just have like uh, cleaned my face with water just before. You want your skin to be a little damp, but I mean mine's not. It's dry now that I've been talking about it. I'm just going to talk about the products and then um, just apply it as I go so you can see. Now in the morning what I do is, these are the main uh, two main oils that I'm using at the moment. One's uh, by the Jojoba company. It is Australian jojoba oil or jojoba if you like to um, call it that. I will put all the links down below. Most of these products are from Priceline. They are available in Priceline. So yeah. And as you can see, I am down to the very bottom. I use this every day, twice a day. So what I usually do, that's one of the things that I use. And the other one I use is... Um, Sukin, what is this? Uh, certified organic rosehip oil. It's just pure rosehip oil. There's nothing there, nothing else there. Just rosehip oil. Um. So what I usually do now, I do. Um. I use another. I interchange between um Sukin and another brand called Cosmea, which I can only get it at the organic shop. So it's kind of not easily accessible to me uh, unless I go to the organic shop so it's um, hard to get a hang of it but I, I prefer that one over this but this is pretty good as well since I'm running out of this uh, I will just what I usually do is take oh my gosh that is way too much um, I just take a couple of pumps of that and mix it with the rosehip oil which I'm also running out of just two drops of that and then mix it in my palm and I just it it helps if your um, face is really damp just gonna take another drop the areas that get really dry are around my mouth most of the time it's here and right there so I put this right under my eye. It's all natural, so you can put it everywhere. Um, on the top of your eyelid. Always rub upwards. Over your lips. 
on your neck. Now instantly you can see the effect it has. It's beautiful. So amazing. Okay, my husband came and distracted me and I'm totally I lost the train of thought. I think I used these ones. Um, you just mix it up, put it on your face and give it, I don't know, like 30 seconds to absorb. Um, what I usually just do is um, wear my towel after I come out of the shower, put the oils on and then I, after I put the oils on, I get dressed and then after that I put the cream on, which I don't always use this cream. Um, only on the days that my skin feels super super dry so um, if it's like a windy day and I'm going out or um, if it's like a really cold day um, I would put this on but you can barely see what's what it is um, it is a brand called Aiken Aiken um, and it's the cream intense hydration day and night cream this um, has organic rosehip oil and shea butter as well now one other thing that I actually want to um, address is that I can't use coconut oil any any product with um, coconut oil on my skin because it breaks me out like I am severely allergic to coconut oil I know a lot of you um, love it but um i just can't use it at all i use coconut oil like just pour coconut oil on my hair i just can't um use it on my face it's just not good at all it'll even if some um after i put put it on my oil treatment to my hair and i put it i like it accidentally gets on my skin i immediately wipe it off because otherwise it will break me out so that's the cream and that's basically my daytime skincare that's it just three products so simple and I then put my um, pop ointment just very little of it that's it and you can see my skin is just super moisturized. Don't mind the dark circles. I'm a mom <laughs> and I'm pregnant. I get no sleep, zero sleep. So anyway, so on top of these, not on top of these, just on top of these actually, um, it's the same routine at night I just mix the two oils and then on top of that I use this one which is oh my gosh I love like I just I love this product so much it's from the jojoba company or the jojoba company um, it's their overnight renewal cream with hyaluronic acid and crown of gold I don't know what crown of gold is I'm assuming it's a plant, <laughs> um, but I do know what hyaluronic acid is. It's something that attracts moisture and it's like a heaven sent for people with dry skin. It's amazing and you literally just, it says to apply onto clean skin and use um, nightly to nourish the skin while you sleep. Now this, I what I love is how I put this on at night and you need very little by the way like the tiniest amount and you put this on on top of my oils and go to sleep next morning I wake up with the softest most hydrated amazing skin ever I have never had like such amazing skin when I wake up in the morning but it's just like that feeling you know you get like like you see in commercials people wake up with like fresh face this does that it's really good um, but look at the packaging it's so sleek now this is pretty expensive I think it's over $60 it was probably $64 um, this one's probably in the 30s range and I will put the prices for these ones as well and um, they I mean look it's not your everyday 
um, go to Woolies, buy whatever, right? So they, they do cost a little bit, but they're not super luxury where nobody can afford it. I would not pay over a hundred dollars for a face cream you know that's my cutoff mark that's hundred dollars is just pushing it that's like if it's like a really good serum i would pay that amount but yeah not for a cream i think that for the price this product is pretty darn amazing i i would actually pay like more money for this if they increase the price but don't um the packaging is beautiful it has this pump when you press on both sides the product comes out of the middle and trust me when I tell you the correct amount comes out you're not wasting any product and it's super hygienic you just wipe this and that's it and then you just close it the product itself um, is a white creamish product and it is super emollient you can feel right away on your hand that it's super moisturizing and stuff and I love it so that's what I do at night um, and I just go to sleep after that so that's basically my skincare routine guys and I'm super happy with my skin and just one of the tips I can give you is try to keep your products to a minimal you know um, don't complicate it just don't overdo it and always always look at the ingredients list if there are chemicals that you've never heard of if you can't pronounce it read it you don't know what the heck it is just don't buy it just do the whole natural route and it, it does amazing things for your skin and for your hair if you saw my skincare um, my hair care routine that's like I mentioned a similar thing as well just um, yeah it's just better to keep it clean natural and your skin and hair will thank you for it especially your skin because you know your hair can be damaged and then repaired and you can put it in a bun but your skin if it's damaged everybody see the first thing everybody see is your face and you want it to be presentable and nice looking and everything and you know and I personally am not a fan of cosmetic procedures like Botox or um, I don't even know what other products they have. I do once in a while go get a facial done. I love doing microdermabrasion or chemical peel here and there. But since I'm pregnant at the moment, I am staying away from all of that hair color. None of that. Um, anything with strong fumes, even like house um, cleaning chemicals, I stay away from. Um, yeah, so that's about it for this video. And I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to check out um the other video that i will um be uploading later on it's a small makeup tutorial that i filmed after so long but yeah um i hope you guys like it don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video and leave some comments so i know um what you guys are thinking and also check out my baby boutique online baby boutique i will have all the links down below follow me on instagram it's mrs shasha and follow my baby boutique little keys and me um i think that's about it oh uh, if you do want to get notifications don't forget to press the little bell neck bell icon next to the subscribe button subscribe and then press the bell then you'll get the notification for my next video but until then bye bye